Hey, welcome back to Living MN Outdoors. I'm Daniel, and thanks for tuning in to this week's fishing report. Like usual, guys, if you use any of the guides or resorts mentioned in today's report, please let them know you saw them on Living MN Outdoors. And if you have some success, you want to send in some fish pictures, send them to us on Facebook or to our email at livingmnoutdoors at gmail.com. And with that being said, let's dive into this week's fishing report. All right, this week we are going to start up on Lake Winnie. Uh, the walleye bite has been a little bit tougher. It seems to be kind of hit or miss with all of these weather swings that we've been having. Uh, when the fish are biting, it seems like the best bite is in that 9 to 14 feet of water. Uh, but then depending on the weather, they've been finding them out in 30, 35 feet or up in that 5 to 9 feet of water. Seems like those walleyes are really on the move right now. Uh, they're there one day and they're gone the next. So be ready to be moving spots until you can locate those schools of fish. Now, right now it seems to be a jigging bite. Uh, whether you throw a jig and a minnow, a night crawler, a leech, uh, doesn't really seem to matter a whole ton. They're liking that jig right now. Uh, some guys are starting to pick up some fish on spinners and slip bobbers and then in the evening trolling those crankbaits on those shoreline weed lines. Now as far as the perch bite goes, the perch have been a little bit scarce. They are finding a few up in the cabbage and the pencil reeds, uh, but the big schools of them are tough to come by right now. Now the panfish, those are still biting. Those are up in the cabbage and the reeds. Uh, they're really biting well on a small panfish leech below a slip bobber. And there is some really nice panfish to be had out on Lake Winnie. Now as far as the muskie bite goes, this past weekend was muskie opener. Not a ton of people out targeting muskies. Uh, a couple guys were over on the east side throwing on those deeper weed lines, bucktails. Uh, not sure if they had success or not, but they were out there chasing them. Now, if you guys are looking for a guide trip up on Lake Winnie, we highly recommend Scott from Zup's Guide Service. He does have some availability coming up here June 30th and then July 1st through the 3rd and July 8th. So if you guys want to plan a last minute guided fishing trip on Lake Winnie for some beautiful walleyes, definitely call Scott from Zup's Guide Service. Now, Scott also offers a twilight trip. If you just want to go out for the evening, 5 p.m. to 9 p.m., uh, chase some walleyes, watch the sunset, he does offer that as well, and that is a fun trip to go on. Now, if you guys are looking for a place to stay up on Lake Winnie, highly recommend the Pines Resort. They have a full bar and restaurant, which is open to the public. You don't have to be staying at the resort. Uh, they got bait, they have fuel, a beautiful fish cleaning shack. And guys, whether you're staying at the resort or not, you can pull up your boat to their dock, you can purchase fuel, you can purchase bait, you can walk up to the bar and restaurant. Uh, whatever you want to do, you are welcome to do that there at the Pines Resort. Now, the Pines Resort did just have their big cabin come open for July 13th through the 20th. Uh, if you guys want to get up to Lake Winnie with a group, that cabin is available along with some other scattered availability as well. So if you guys are looking to get up to Lake Winnie this coming weekend or in the future, go ahead and call Chad from the Pines Resort. All right, now moving over to Mille Lacs Lake. The fishing on Mille Lacs has been on fire this entire open water season, and I don't see it slowing down anytime soon. Uh, the walleyes still that 8 to 18 feet of water, slip bobbers and a leech out deeper, paddle tails and a jig head up shallower is working well, getting some on jerk baits as well. If it's calm and sunny, those fish tend to be out a little bit deeper. If it's windy and overcast, those fish tend to be a little bit shallower. So pay attention to the weather and adjust accordingly. Now the smallmouth bass bite out on Mille Lacs right now, it is on fire. Those big females are up spawning. Look for those fish to be in four to 10 feet of water on rocks and sand. Right now, hair jigs, jerk baits, ned rigs, those are all working really well. 
Uh, and if you're looking to get one of those massive, massive smallies, now is the time to be up on Mille Lacs Lake. Now, musky fishing. Uh, this past weekend, a lot of musky fishermen were out. There was quite a bit of success, especially over in Isle Bay, casting shoreline points and weed lines, throwing big bucktails and some glide baits as well. And there was some really nice fish caught this past weekend. Now the pike bite is still picking up. Uh, they're catching those trolling big spinners or spoons in the bays. Uh, troll them weed lines in seven to 10 feet of water and you might come across some really big pike. Now, if you're looking for a place to stay up on Mille Lacs Lake, Castles Resort, they do have some cabins and some shoreline ice castles available for this coming weekend. Uh, it's really hard to beat the deal they have going with their ice castles. They're right on the shoreline, under a hundred bucks. You get a dock slip included and you can go up and enjoy some time on Mille Lacs. Now, Castles is also running some launch trips on the weekend. So if you're interested in getting out on a launch, uh, I believe they're still providing hot dogs and brats uh, when they're out fishing. Uh, so if you guys want to get out fishing for a reasonable price, definitely call Jeff or Kimberly and get on their launch. So if you guys are looking to get up to Mille Lacs Lake this coming weekend or in the future, go ahead and call Jeff or Kimberly from Castles Resort. All right, moving over to Leech Lake. The walleye bite has been kind of tough lately. Uh, some guys are having some success and a lot of people are really struggling. Uh, the majority of those fish are being caught in 8 to 16 feet of water. Transitions are key right now. Sand to rock, sand to weeds, rock to weed transitions. Those are really key in that 8 to 16 feet of water. Uh, they're still catching them on a jig. Uh, you can use leeches, night crawlers, minnows, whatever it might be. They're biting on those along with the slip bobber bite is really starting to pick up as well. Now in the evening guys are trolling crankbaits. Some guys are pulling spinners. They're having some success with that in that 5 to 10 feet of water. Uh, look for those rocky shorelines and you're probably going to pick up some nice walleyes trolling in the evenings. Now, smallmouth bass out on Leech Lake, uh, really underrated fishery over there. Uh, guys are having a lot of success on some of them rock structures out in front of Horseshoe Bay Lodge. Uh, some of the shallow sand, them smallmouth are starting to push up and spawn as well. Uh, jerk baits, hair jigs, ned rigs, the usual for those smallmouth, they're biting. Uh, and there are some really big smallmouth out there. Now, as far as the panfish bite goes, uh, the crappies are still hanging out in those northern bays. They're on the deep weed lines. Uh, the, the crappies, they're starting to transition out into that deeper water now. So they're a little bit fewer and far between, but those bluegills are up in the cabbage and the milfoil getting ready to spawn. And uh, there are some really big bluegills out there right now. Now, if you guys are looking for a guide trip out on Leech Lake, we highly recommend the guys from Leech Lake Guide Team LLC. Whether you're looking to chase walleyes, muskies, panfish, whatever it might be, uh, they have a bunch of guides that are teamed up to fit whatever you're looking to chase. Uh, they do have some availability, so if you're looking to get up there on a guide trip, go ahead, check them out on their website, Facebook, or give them a call and get something on the books. All right, guys, well, that's going to do it for this week's fishing report. Really appreciate you guys tuning in. Hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button. It's free. You'll be notified every time we post a new fishing report or fishing video. I uh, hope you guys make it out this coming weekend. Wish you a ton of success. Remember, be kind and respectful at the boat ramp. Don't crowd your neighbor. And most importantly, don't forget to get on out there and get living.